Hi, and welcome to this uh, series, How to Illuminate My Vessel. Uh, Morten Kabe, will you introduce us today what we're going to talk about? Yeah, uh, well, behind us on the screen we have a, an offshore construction vessel. Uh, we receive a general drawing from our customer. Uh, we uh, put uh, effort into making a 3D model of that, uh, of that vessel in, uh, so that we are able to uh, 3D model our light simulation uh, and place our floodlights, uh, choose the uh, position of our floodlights and to, uh, to, uh, to discover where we have shadows uh, with our potential uh, floodlight uh, simulation. Yes, and what you see here is that um, is that we have on on the bridge top we are using uh, some spot beams to illuminate the back of the vessel, and uh, here on the superstructure we are using some medium beams, also still some uh, controlled light beam to illuminate the front uh, front area of the vessel, um, and uh, and as you can see there that the, that the contribution from this spot beam is actually on the you know, on this side of on one of the sides of the of the of the main deck. Uh, and this is also to avoid that you get too much uh, undesired declare or light to directly into the uh, crane cabin where 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 he's working. Mm -hmm. So uh, so that is uh, that is one thing we have taken into consideration. Uh, and traditionally, where with floor lights, you would have like a fairly wide angle no matter what, and and you wouldn't be able to quite control the beam. Uh, but that is uh, with uh, with the technology and uh, optics we we use, we are able to control lights in a better way. And for uh, every part working on deck and in crane cabins, it's a more efficient and better solution. Yeah. So what is interesting for this vessel is that actually the this solution is that we only use 11 floodlights to to illuminate this 1,200 square meters uh, deck yeah. deck area. So this is actually quite few floodlights. Uh, actually, today we could make it even uh, less because we have just made a new upgrade of, of the of the floodlights. So uh, so then um, this is uh, and what is the approximately uh, power consumption for this total solution? Was it about four? About four kilowatts. Four four kilowatts is it using this uh, total solution? Um, yeah. So then and then we were interested in just to see how this would look in in real life. Mm -hmm. um, so then Morten, you can. Yeah, so here we see from port side of the vessel, uh, it looks fairly low illumination level on this side and uh, that's how it should be really because uh, we're not on the deck of the vessel. Um, traditionally again you would have a lot of uh, glare and a lot of uh, light spread to the sides of the vessel, uh, but due to controlled beams, spot specific uh, beams, we're able to keep the lights where they should be on the deck. And this also goes. Uh, this is actually the same. Uh, you see, when when other people are working in close or other operations is going on both next to the vessel, but also above the vessel, like an oil platform with a crane operator working there, and looking down on the mm -hmm. vessel, don't want to get lots of glare into his eyes, and that is also taken into consideration by this solution. And then moving into this next picture, we see from from bridge. It's um, uh, incredible. Uh, clear colors, uh, even light distribution, and uh, easy to see everything that's happening on deck. Yeah, the light, um, the light level set uh, even at the back here is above the requirement of 100 lux. Uh, a 10 foot candle is the requirement on, on this solution, and in the middle area we have around 150 lux or around 15 foot candles. Uh, in this area. Mm. And it, what's um, interesting to notice is also that these beams, even though they are illuminating forward to making sure that you don't get any un, un, undesired uh, um, reflections or shadows here mm. on the back, then then they still don't re give glare to the uh, bridge from the bridge view, which is uh, very important because you want to keep the night vision there, yeah. which takes us to the, this picture. Yeah, and here we see uh, it's... it's uh, uh, it's a, it's a nice, nice, uh, nice view again. We don't have glare uh, coming from the, uh, the crane or the white construction on the vessel. Uh, with the, with the, uh, wider beams, it would be uh, possible to have a lot of glare or reflections coming from these constructions. But we do not because we've we chosen where to 
place our lights. Yeah, so we know we know how to how much light is actually yeah, actually the light should be as low as possible what is coming in to, because that will uh, remove or destroy your night vision when you're looking down at the deck area. So that's important that you don't get any light in, but you see nice and clearly what is going on at the main deck. Yeah. So that's so much what we had to, to tell you about this and uh, this uh, type of vessel today. And um, we hope that this was informative and uh, that we can help you with another solution one day.